What is up you guys, welcome back to another video, it's Phantom here, and as I promised some of you guys, I was, told you guys I was going to upload a video on how to get mods on Mineshafter, which is the free version of Minecraft, and I have figured out a way on how to get mods on Mineshafter, so I decided to make the video for you guys, and if you guys don't know how to get Minecraft for free. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can go watch my video on how to download Minecraft for free. And I will also leave the link on how to change your skin. As you can see, I have a skeleton skin on in the description as well so you can change your skin. And so I'm gonna be basically showing you guys how to get mods. As you can see, these mobs aren't in the version of Minecraft, nor are these sofas or these benches or these coffee tables. So, the, these are all part of the mod. I mean, the the mobs are part of different mod, and then obviously the these furniture are part of different mods. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, you know, install mods on your version of Minecraft. So as you can see right here, there I have the mobs mod and the furniture mod. So I'm gonna quit quit the game and. I'm basically going to delete everything, so I'm going to, you know, start with a clean slate. So I'm going to press Windows R, and then thankfully it's already here, so App Data. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete the mods file. And I'm also going to delete the, the versions. So I downloaded a couple Forge versions, but only one of them worked, and it turns out that for some reason there's there's gonna be some some editing so just make sure to watch through the whole video because or not you're probably gonna mess up so i would recommend you know just stick through the whole video so you guys don't mess up because there are some parts where you are gonna have to pay close attention so now with forge completely deleted from my computer i'm gonna basically you know start as if I was a, I was, I was you guys basically. So like with nothing installed, just a mine shafter, and that's it. So you're gonna open a new tab on Chrome, and I already have it pulled up, but I'll basically just close it. So all you're gonna type in is Forge, and press Enter, and then, so the first thing that should pop up is this link. So you can click on it, and as I said in the last video, the only ver like the highest version you can play on the Mineshafter launcher is 1.16.5. So you're gonna basically click on the 1.16, go to 1.16.5. You can download the recommended or the latest version. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter. It should all be the same, but I'm gonna download the latest version. And this should pop up and I have Adblock around so Thankfully, hopefully there will be no um, weird ads popping up. So it's downloading. So it's, it's gonna say that the file might harm your computer, but it won't, so just keep it. And then just click on it again. And then it should start installing. And if you do have Mineshafter, obviously you're gonna have Java, so this shouldn't be an issue. So then you're gonna click on install client, press okay, and it should start installing. It If it's your first time, it will take a little bit, but eventually it will install. And then you're gonna press OK. And then so here's the part where you have to pay attention. So what you're gonna do is, if you're on Windows, I really, I'll, I'll try to figure out what you need to do for Apple or for Macs. So supposedly what I saw was that it's Shift, then Command, then G. And then I'm gonna put up uh, a, a piece of text that you have to type in to find the Minecraft file. But I don't know if on Apple or Macs it's different because for some reason for Windows, the Forge version, there's a portion of it that is not complete. So that's why you won't be able to find it. Like, look, if I try to launch Minecraft right now, it'll take a little bit and then Right here, there's a Forge profile that got added. This wasn't here before, right? But like, if I press on my Phantom and I click edit and I go to use version and I try to find the Forge version, it's not on here for some reason. So in order to fix that, 
when you're on Windows, pre press the Windows key and then R and then type this in right here. It's uh, percentage app data percentage reverse slash a period of Minecraft. I'm going to leave it in the description so you guys can just copy and paste it and then press OK. And then so this should pop up and you're going to go over here to where it says versions. Click it and then go to the Forge version you just downloaded. Click on that and then you're going to right click on this and you can go where it says open with and then uh, if this is your first time opening a dot json file you're going to go where it says more apps and then right here where it's on underneath more apps click on notepad and then press ok and so i'm gonna basically make this larger for you guys so you guys can see what i'm talking about so there's going to be a portion this portion right here you see where it says url there's supposed to be something right here but there is not and that is the reason why it doesn't appear on the minecraft launcher so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this part up right here into everything that's inside the quotation marks. Copy it and then paste it right here. All right, but you're not done yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in HTTPS and then the, the two periods or the, the two dots slash slash. And then you're going to put files dot mine craft forge dot net slash maven. And then another slash. And then from there, just click off it and then you should be good. And then you can go up here with this file save it and then just close out and then from there you should be good and then once you close out and you open up the mineshafter launcher again you should be able to choose there we go as you can see it says ready to play minecraft 1.16.5 forge so like if you go over here press edit profile it should be right here it says released 1.16.5 forge and if you don't want to play the Forge version, you can obviously just click this one and just save profile and you should be good. But if you want to click, if you want to go back to the Forge version, click on it, save profile. And as you can see, it changed. So that is how to install Forge onto your computer. So now I'm going to show you where and how to get mods onto your computer. So I'm just, uh, actually, I'm just close out completely because I'm going to need to either way. So you can go back to Chrome. And then just look up Minecraft mods. And I would honestly recommend Curse Forge because that is where most of the mods are at. So over here, which is game versions, make sure to click on 1.16.5 because I mean, that's the version that we're playing. So there might be some mods that might not work. And so I'm just download I guess I'll just download this journey map one. I'm gonna just download a, a very a very quick one real quick. Show you guys that it does work. Uh, the ones that I had, you obviously saw it was the mob one and then it was the furniture mod. So, so there it's downloading. And then just press keep, don't worry, the file will not harm your computer. So then you're gonna go back, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna press the Windows key and R again, and then type in the same thing, the uh, percentage sign app data percentage sign reverse slash dot minecraft and then press ok and then oh actually before I do this make sure to run the the version of forge that you just installed because whenever you run it there will be a new file called mods that will appear so just make sure that you're running the forge version just press play and then you should be able to run it it, the first time you run it, it will take a little bit to load. As you can see, it's loading. And as you can see right here, if you see this red screen, that means you did it right. That means Forge was installed correctly and now it's registering everything and now it will start running up Minecraft. And eventually it'll be up and running. So 
it says that two mods were loaded, but I don't, I don't have any mods, it's just Minecraft and then the Forge version. So then I'm gonna just quit, and I'm gonna go back here. And as you can see, now there's a mods file right here. So you're gonna open the mods file, and then you're gonna drag and drop the file to the mods file. So right here, as you can see, it is in the mods file. So mods, there it is, the journey map. So I'm gonna just close out of it, and I'm gonna relaunch the mine mine shafter launcher again. And I know I know the process is kind of convoluted, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. It does it is a bit long the process but i mean eventually it'll pay off mods mods are truly amazing like they they definitely change the way you play minecraft because sometimes you get bored i understand and you want to add new challenges and stuff you want to add new data packs and everything so there's that so as you can see now it says that three mods are loaded and if i click right here on the mods there it is journey map so i'm gonna go back to single player and because i did delete the other mods the the creatures will not spawn or the couches or anything like that so as you can see on the top right um you can see that that there's there's a new compass like it tells you which way is north which way, which way is west it i'm pretty sure it even tells you there's i don't know what those red dots are but i'm pretty sure those are mobs Friendly or deadly mobs, actually. I just heard skeleton, so I'm pretty sure that is a deadly mob. But I mean, you know, you can install whatever mod there is on here. Like, let me see real quick. You know, there's there's a bunch of mods on here that you can find. Like biomes of plenty. Like this one adds a bunch of biomes to your world. Iron chests. I guess this one adds like different chests with varying capacities. But yeah, guys. That's how you install mods on Mineshafter, the free version of Minecraft. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If this helped you, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. So hopefully I was able to make it as simple process as possible, you know. And drop a comment if it worked. Tell me what your favorite mod is. And yeah, guys, it's been Phantom. Take care. Peace out.